Hello people, the blood supply to this uh, tonsil is very important. Okay, they have asked this quite a few times. So tonsil, you know, whenever they are referring to, they seem to be referring to palatine tonsils only. Okay, so let us look at the blood supply to palatine tonsil. So what you can understand here is, uh, it is not so difficult. Let's look at the blood supply to palatine tonsil here. So here you have the external carotid artery. Okay, now this external carotid artery, are you able to see? Shall we use some other color? So basically, you can see here, external carotid artery, okay. This is going to make a E, okay. So this is external carotid artery is making a E. So on top what you have, on top you have maxillary artery. So guys, let's do this again. So you have external carotid artery here, right. This entire thing is the external carotid artery. It's making a E here. Right? Can you see the E? This is the E, external carotid artery. Right? On top you have maximum maxillary artery. Down you have lingual artery. Lower side you have lingual artery, tongue, right? So lingual. So lingual artery on the lower side you have the lingual artery. In the middle what do you have? Facial artery. So external carotid artery branches, maxillary artery, facial artery, lingual artery. From these again let us look at the branches. Okay? So from the facial artery you have the tonsillar artery from the facial artery you have the tonsillar artery this is the main branch they are saying okay then from the maxillary artery you have descending palatine and uh, from this facial itself you have ascending palatine also so from the facial you have the ascending palatine tonsillar artery and from the maxillary you have the descending palatine artery from the lingual artery, you have some dorsal lingual arteries. Okay. So, going backwards, you can say dorsal lingual arteries. What else you should know here? This external carotid artery has a branch here that is ascending pharyngeal artery. From that also you have a branch. Okay. So, this is something very different. You have to remember this. This is ascending pharyngeal artery. From that also you have a branch to the tonsil. So basically, this diagram is showing only the external carotid artery here. External carotid artery. So there's an E here. Maxillary artery, facial artery, lingual artery. So from the lingual, you have the dorsal lingual branches. From the facial, you have two things. Tonsillar artery and ascending palatine artery. And from the maxillary, you have the descending palatine artery. And from the ascending pharyngeal artery, you have a tonsillar branch. So which is the main artery, guys? The main one is tonsillar artery. Okay. From where? From the facial artery it is coming. Okay. That's why probably in this diagram 6 is marked as facial artery. Okay. Facial artery is giving two branches. One is the tonsillar artery and the other is ascending palatine artery. Okay. So, all of the blood supply is external carotid only. So, you can remember this will be the external carotid. It will give ascending pharyngeal, right? Then you have the lingual shown here, facial and maxillary. We are concerned with this E, okay, which will give the blood supply to the tonsils and this ascending pharyngeal, one branch of it. In maxillary artery, look at this third part of maxillary artery. You can see the descending palatine artery, right? Can you see it here? Descending palatine artery. Facial artery. Where is it? It's a very tortuous artery, right? So this is facial artery. What branches are we expecting? Two branches we want. One is the tonsillar artery. And the other is the ascending palatine artery. Here actually it's not shown because they are try trying to show the blood supply of face. Just remember, so facial artery, artery branches are there to tonsil. That is tonsillar artery and ascending palatine artery. Okay. So you can remember these. In this video, we finish the blood supply of tonsil. Bye-bye. That is the palatine tonsil specifically. Okay, bye-bye.